Why is it so hard for people to understand our orbit? Because they're not rocket scientists. Okay, let's pretend this is Blue Ghost. Okay, would you stand over here? You're the moon. And, and you, I'm sorry, who are you again? I'm Jason, the CEO of Firefly. Right, okay, would you, would you stand here, please? You'll be the Earth. We're not taking the fastest route to the moon because we're not trying to keep people alive, unlike Apollo. We're trying to keep science payloads alive and give them the data they can on the way to the moon. I'm proposing a 45-day transit around the Earth and the moon using orbital phasing. We start in orbit for 25 days around the Earth or the CEO. We perform a few burns to change the duration of each orbit on the way to the moon. That way, no matter what day we launch in our one-week launch window, we still have some flexibility to be in the right spot to do our critical burn to get to the moon. We then perform the translunar injection to escape Earth's gravitational pull and begin our four-day transit to the moon. And as we approach the moon's orbit, we perform a braking burn, we pull the e-brake for lunar orbit insertion. We only have one shot at this, but we've been perfecting our systems the whole transit so far, so we gotta get this right. Once we're in the moon's orbit, we'll perform a few more phasing burns to lower our orbit, just like we did for translunar injection around Earth. And lunar phasing puts us exactly over our landing site at exactly the right time we need to land, sunrise. And as the lunar day begins, we'll begin our descent by firing all of our engines to begin our landing on the moon. Done the math. It checks out. Joe? Yes, sir? Get out. All right.